Okay, so today I'm going to be making a coaster with some paper in resin and I want to show you and hopefully go over a few questions that were asked in my last video about paper and resin and uh, hopefully uh, help some of you um, understand the whole process. Um, this is just a different type of paper. I'm using a piece of scrapbook paper. It is a um, kind of a nicer, heavier duty type scrapbook paper, but this will work with any scrapbook paper or any printed paper. So I'm going to work on this in just a moment. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, make a resin coaster, obviously, and this one is just one I made of kind of like an opaque white with a little bit of glitter in it. Most of this glitter you won't see, but uh, I am going to use this tape and create a circle for the center. I've got my flower center cut out. I'm just going to erase any pencil lines that might still be on the edge. And now it's ready. This is just going to go in the center here just because. I'm just going to take my Aline's tacky glue. You can, original tacky glue. You can get this at Hobby Lobby. You can get it at Walmart. Somebody said you can get some small bottles at Dollar Tree. You can get it on Amazon. You can use other forms of glue and um, just have to be careful and make sure that you test, do a test run and find out how many layers you need to add so that you uh, know what will prevent the resin from sinking into your paper. So I'm just going to put this on the back here. You just want to make sure you have a nice thin layer on the back and this has something on it. <laughs> make sure you have a clean paintbrush. Just going to uh, make sure that there is a solid amount. There's not any uh, gaps uh, in strips of glue. Make sure that it is fully, fully sealed on the back. especially around the edges. And then we'll place it on the coaster. a layer on top this stuff is really thick and I've had this bottle for a little while so it's even a little thicker than normal <laughs> now we're gonna go against the edges to create a nice seal over the edge of the paper because we don't want any resin leaking into the edge of the paper You can use the same technique with photos, stickers, um, all kinds of different things. And there are some people that like to laminate their pictures before they put them in, and that works too. I don't have a laminator, so this is a good cost-effective way to do this if you don't have a laminator. Plus, sometimes, um, back when I did have a laminator, I didn't like that sometimes you can see the edge of the lamination film inside. It just depends on what color uh, you're using. 
with your resin. Sometimes you can see um, the reflection of the edge of the lamination from around the image. So it's really just up to you what you want to do, but this is a good alternative. So I'm making sure I got around all those edges, creating a nice bead of glue. Okay, and then across the whole image, you want to go in the same direction. And then we're going to let that dry. Okay, so a little something I've been wanting to try while I'm waiting for this to dry is I've been wanting to use diamond dots in resin. And so I thought, well, I might try this. Um, I picked this little jar of these up at uh, Joann's. They have every color you can possibly imagine. And this was, um, these are the ones that had like an iridescent sparkly coating. They have a lot of them without. The ones with the sparkly coating is like uh, two ninety nine for a whole jar. That's quite a lot. Um, the regular ones are like a dollar ninety nine, I think. So, I think what I want to do is I want to try putting some of these around the outer edge. I'm just going to put some glue down. And I haven't tried this before, so I don't know how they're going to turn out as far as being in resin, if, if they'll still sparkle, but I guess we'll find out. I think these are tiny enough that... Uh, they're going to create a nice little outline, basically. I don't think that'll be kind of cute. It's far enough to the edge that it won't in, uh, interfere with putting a cup in there, but I think that'll be a cute little addition on there. So I'm going to keep going with this, and I will see you after all this is dry. Okay, it's all dry. The first layer is dry. You can see how it's very um, flat. So we're going to go ahead and since that one was this way, we're going to go against the grain and go that way. Just a nice thin coat. We're going to let that dry. This was probably took about an hour to dry, sort of. Somewhere about that. I didn't time it, but it's it's been about an hour. So you can see here, when you're painting on your um, glue, you can see how this part has really good coverage and then this part right here does not. So that's what you got to watch for when you're painting on your glue. You want to make sure that the glue has a good even coverage. just gonna let that one dry and then I can mix up some resin and pour it in okay so this has dried both coats and it's nice and flat as you can see you don't see any areas where there's not glue coverage I, I really like how these diamond dots look around the edge it just gives it that little bit of texture and a little bit of shimmer I'm hoping that once I pour the resin on top they don't kind of disappear but 
I think they'll still work about the same because they have that iridescent um, pearlescent uh, coating on them so I think they'll still work but we'll see so now that I've got those coats of of uh, glue dry we're ready to pour in our resin I'm just going to pour a very thin thin layer because we still want the indention in our coaster For a cup to sit down and I'm just kind of slowly working the resin into the diamond dots. I think I will use the uh, heat gun to move it. Uh, heating it up a little bit allowed that resin to run over the diamond dots and I can still see all the sparkle from the diamond dots so I'm pretty happy about how that turned out so we're just going to let that cure and uh, we'll have our final looks after that gets done curing <music>